Hello, hello, DK Fam TV. It is Friday, and I'm ready to sing. Pick up my girls and hit the party scene tonight. Oh, it's all right. Mm. <laughs> I can't sing. I know I can't sing. That's not the gift that God has given me, but he gave me plenty of other gifts. But hey, y'all, welcome back to DK Fam TV. It's Friday, and I am getting ready to go to the eye doctor again because I had an eye doctor's appointment because I feel like my glasses haven't been working, and I feel like my vision is getting worse, and I feel like I keep getting this sty in this eye. I keep getting this sty in this eye right here. And it's still there. She said it's, it'll just heal up on its own, but it bothers me. But anyway, she decided to change my prescription. So I'm not going to keep these frames because I don't like these frames. Because when I, these frames kind of, they're embarrassing to me. Like they're nice frames, but they're kind of embarrassing because when I grimace my face or when I smile and I nod my head, they bounce like this. And I hate it. I absolutely hate it. So I am going to go pick up some new frames. And then I'm actually going to get my um, first Pfizer shot today at some point. And then um, I've got to go to the lab and get some lab work done. So I'll catch up with you all when I finish running around to all these doctor's visits I've got going on. headed out to go get some labs done go to the eye doctor and what else did I have to do get my labs done go to the eye doctor and get my um, first round of uh, vaccination for COVID I got today the Pfizer shot um, I have a shellfish allergy and when I said that it was kind of like have you had any recent vaccinations? No. I'm 46 years old. I haven't had any recent vaccinations. Hadn't had, I haven't had a vaccination since I had my hepatitis. And I was 22, 23 then. 
So they were like, did you have a reaction? I don't even know. I don't know if I had a reaction. I don't know. I don't remember. That been over 20 some years ago. Initially wasn't planning on having this shot done. I, I wanted to wait a few years to see how many people grew extra toes or fingers or <laughs> extra toes. Um, yeah. I wanted to see what long-term side effects was gonna be for folks. But um, I really don't know why I changed my mind. I went in for my physical on last Friday and uh, they said they had the Pfizer and asked me if I would like to get the vaccination. And, um, and I said, yeah. So they set it up and I went ahead and did it. But it was not initially my plan to get it because I don't like to be a guinea pig. My arm is extremely sore, um, which is to be expected because I, I mean, I guess our arms are gonna be sore after you inject something into that tough muscle. I remember I used to get a depot shots when I, um, for birth control, um, before I had my second child. And those shots used to leave my arm sore too. So I, um, I expected to have some arm soreness and hopefully that's all I have, and hopefully the, the arm soreness won't last long. Um, got it in my left, I got it in my left arm, and I'm gonna try to keep this arm moving around so that it doesn't affect me too badly. But so yeah, but um, that's Friday in a nutshell. It rained in Tallahassee all day. Nothing really exciting to do. Nothing really exciting to talk about. I do want to talk about glasses. So I, I have to have a new prescription um, because this prescription is a few, it's 2016, it's old prescription and it's not working as good as it did a year ago. So I've decided that I didn't want to keep these, I didn't want to keep these frames. Now when I, I got these frames, I got them because I felt like that was really all they had and I didn't want, I didn't want like, my, my head is small and I didn't want big glasses. So I got these, but I never liked them. And one of the things I've always hated about these frames is when I smile, and like I might be smiling and doing like this, they would do like this. And another thing is I can never keep the nose pads on glasses like this. So these were never glasses that I completely liked, but I, I've worn them the whole time. But actually what I did is I went to my eye doctor and I was like, can I have my prescription? And I went to Costco because I saw frames that I really liked. And I bought these frames. And I love these frames a lot more. These frames are a lot more becoming of me. Um, and I like these frames better. And they don't bounce. And when I put them on, they actually stay in place. The problem with these frames, and it was cheaper, okay? So it, it, that's another thing. It was definitely a lot cheaper than getting, getting frames and um, prescription filled at Costco than it was at my eye doctor. The problem was, I'm going to show you guys, and I hope y'all can see it. I'm going to clean the glasses out so I can show y'all that, you know, sometimes you really just get what you pay for. And, of course, I spent well, way less on these from Costco than I did these from my eye doctor. And then the ones that I picked out today to, um, to my new frames that I picked out. Instead of just putting the frame, putting a new prescription in these. But, um... I'm gonna try to show y'all what happened to these glasses. And every time I buy a cheap pair of glasses, this happens. And I thought it was because I was cleaning my glasses with something that was um, causing this damage. But if you look in the lens of these glasses, you can see how the lenses are peeling. It looks dirty, but they're not dirty. The lenses are just peeling and you see that you can see how and this is like the third pair of glasses that i've had that i paid under 200 dollars for frames and prescription and this has happened to now these glasses also are two years newer than the ones i have on my face right now because like i said i didn't like these frames and i was in costco and i saw frames that i liked so i got a, i got a copy of my prescription and took them to costco bought these frames they filled them and all together I spent under two hundred dollars for frames and for frames and prescription. Now these glasses I've had since 2016. This is my old prescription. And you can look in these and I 
I'm, and I'm one of those people, my glasses are never just completely clean. But you see how those lenses look? Now that's me, I got a scratch right there. That's my fault, cause I was cleaning them roughly, but if you can look at these, you can see that the lenses are not peeling. The only thing that's wrong with these glasses is the prescription is old and they had to um, give me a new prescription with more magnification and more progression. But you can see the difference in, the, in just the lenses. The bottom ones, I paid a lot more for. Well over $200 for, well over $300 for, for the frames and the lenses. Um, and these I paid well under $200. And it just goes to show sometimes you really do get what you pay for. And it's nothing against Costco um, at all. I just, I don't know what they use to do their lenses. And, and it's really nothing against Costco because I bought, my last two pair of glasses came from, um, my last two pair of glasses came from um, it's one of those things that have commercials on all the time about buy one get one free for your glasses. I got it from that. I got them from there and that was like, I thought I really was doing something. Had a pair of coach frames, had a pair of just like, mm, just regular frames. And the prescription did the same thing, the lens is peeled. So that's why I'm definitely gonna get my new prescription from my eye doctor. It's just that it's just so expensive. And she actually had a better selection of frames in there this time, but the ones that I like were all too big for my face. Um, there was a pair of coach ones, and they said the problem with the ones that I picked out, they were slightly too big for my face, but they would work. But the way they would have to cut the prescription, the lenses, it would, it would affect the progression that I have in my glasses. So, you know, they would have to, it, it, it was, anyway, I can't explain because I'm not an eye doctor, optometrist, optician type person, so I don't just know, you know, they could have been just blowing smoke up my butt, I don't know, but, but what I do know is, I love coach, I wanted some coach frames, and I ended up picking out some, um, they were not coach, what were they? I don't even know what they were. They kind, they're very similar to these, but they have the black on them like these. Like these, so. I don't know, so, yeah. So, uh, that's it for my Friday. We'll catch up with y'all again on Saturday. I'm gonna finish editing the video to put up tonight. I'm hoping I can have it up before midnight. Um, and until next time, God bless each and every one of y'all. We love you. Peace. I mean, y'all definitely was loud. You know you was loud. Mm -hmm.